Hello, students. Good morning, teacher. Hello. Hey, hello. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to our English class. So, how are you today? How are you? Hello, hello. Very well, thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Very well, thank you. Well, it's a pleasure. Welcome to um, our English class. It's, it's for me a great opportunity, you know, to to practice and also to learn English. So welcome to all of you guys. And we have a good time talking and practicing English. So that's one of the, the main points about practicing. And let's see here. We're going to talk today about food, but I would like to ask you, um, what did we talk about yesterday? Who wants to help me? And uh, what did we talk um, yesterday? Hello? Uh, Ms. Kuchan? Yes. Ms. Kuchan, bien. Un poco Yo cortado. Muy bajo, teacher. Un poco, un poco cortado. Okay, ahora me escuchan igual o no? Hola, hola, me escuchan? Me escucho, teacher, pero muy bajo. Muy bajo. Okay, let me check. Okay, so I'm going to try to switch. All right. So let's welcome to our English class, guys. And we're going to have a good a good topic. I would like to ask you first, do you have, uh, do you have dinner? Do you, did you have dinner? Yes. Yes. Great, right, because we will talk about food. Yes. Yes, because we will talk about food. So it's a good topic. Uh, hamburgers. Do you like hamburgers? Yeah, I like hamburgers. Yes, I like hamburgers. Excellent. Uh, me too. I, I really love it. Delicious. Okay. <laughs> delicious. All right. That's definitely, it's very delicious. I just, I want to ask you guys, what did we talk yesterday? Who wants to help me? Give me some ideas about, about that. What did we study? What do you remember? Models bears. Model birds. Okay. What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más acuerdan? What else did you study? ¿Qué más hicimos? What else did we do? Listamos el can, cold, try, like subjects. Subjects. Okay. That's that's good. That is a, definitely a great topic. Okay. So today we will talk about, um, this is the video conference number five. And we will talk about so to neither and either. This is the topic that we will be developing in this class. So I want you to be ready and also uh, focus about this exercise because it's very interesting to talk about that. And um, let's begin with the presentation of the general objective of the class. Who wants to help me to read this? I need a volunteer. Me. Yes, tell me. In this session, participants will be listening to a conversation between two people deciding where to go for dinner. Words such as so, to, neither, and either will be introduced. Thank you so much. Definitely that in this conversation, uh, we will talk a little bit about people discussing about food, especially dinner. So most of us, we got some plans about where, what to eat, where to go especially with some friends, we plan uh, where to go. And also there are great restaurants or places where you can try different food. So today we will have this chance to socialize uh, some delicious food. So before we have the chance to practice this, this information, look at this, look at this. Look at this food. And also let's read about, about this food. It says, the noodles, first made in China, 
And especially uh, we're talking about uh, thousand before Christ, thousand years before Christ, the noodles. So that's mean that they are Chinese. And then we have the coffee. The coffee first um, made in the Middle East. We're talking about the year 850. Imagine the delicious coffee. Do you like coffee? I love coffee. Excellent. How many, I love coffee. How many cups of coffee do you drink every day? I don't drink, I don't not drink coffee. Oh, you don't drink coffee, Oscar. Two cups. No. Oh, nice. So you know, you know. I drink two coffee in the day. Okay, so it's okay. It's good. So I know some of you like coffee, and then chocolate. We love chocolate. Is anybody? Is there anybody in this class that doesn't like chocolate? It's someone here that doesn't like chocolate. I like chocolate. You like it? I don't like chocolate. Oh, you don't like chocolate. Wow. I, I don't like it. You don't like chocolate. All right. So, you know, there are incredible things. And uh, let's see. Also, the chocolate brought to Spain from Mexico. So it's mean that chocolate uh, was born originally uh, in Mexico. So it's a Mexican chocolate. And also it was changed and prepared in Spain. It was modified. So brought to Spain in Mexico in, in 1520. Imagine, woo, time, time ago. We're talking about 1520. Imagine. And then we have the French fries. The French fries first made in Belgium. And we're talking about 1680. Imagine. Okay, so it, it's in, it's delicious too. The, the, I love French fries, but you know, sometimes are greasy. And then we have the sushi. Then we have the sushi. Do you like sushi? I don't like. You don't like it? No. You don't like it. Okay. Let's see. Um... The sushi, modern style sushi, first made in Japan in the 70s. So it's Japanese. Aha. Uh, uh -huh. And then uh -huh. the sandwich. The sandwich, um, look at the sandwich, is actually the name of the England, England, English East of sandwich in 1760. Wow, so sandwich is very delicious. Imagine was invented 1760. It's English. Okay, so that's very interesting. And then we have one of my favorite fast foods. I can say the pizza. Do you like pizza? Yeah, I like pizza. Yes, yes, I like. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it too. Yes, I actually love it too. There are different type of pizza. What kind of pizza do you like? Let's be creative. What kind of pizza do you like? The pepperoni mixed, the, also the pineapple. There, there is there. Okay. Okay. Four cheese. Ah, okay. With a lot of cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And also, it was in the yeah. pizza. Yeah. The pizza. So we end up Mm -hmm. Delicious. And also the pizzeria in New York City opens in 1895, a couple of years ago. <laughs> so we're talking about a lot of time. So the pizzeria in New York City opens in 1895. And the last one is the hamburger invented in Connecticut, Connecticut, USA in 19. Imagine. Wow. It's a lot of time the hamburger in Connecticut was invented. So I, I love a lot a lot, you know, this the hamburgers. My favorite uh, fast food, it's it, we are we're saying that pizza and also hamburger. And there's one that it is not mentioned. What about the pupusas? I mean, pupusas should be included in the list, like the best typical food. 
Yes or not? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Obviously, yes. obviously. Yes. yes. I love pupusas. Are delicious. We we love them a lot. And also, if you have the opportunity to describe um, what ingredients can you find in a hamburger, can you tell me the ingredients you know that are included in the hamburger? Tomato. Tomato. Cheese. Cheese. Tomato. And beef. Okay. Okay, meat. Yes. Bean. Okay. Bear. Okay, what else do you can include? Ketchup. Ketchup. Okay, ketchup. Onion. Onion, yes. Yeah. Cucumber. Little. Little. Cucumbers, too. Yeah. Cheese. Cheese, too. Also, cheese, too. Corn. Okay. Onion. Onion. All right. So, you know. It's, it's very delicious. I, I need a hamburger in this moment. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the the pizza. The pizza, what ingredients? Well, there are different ingredients, by the way, but what <laughs> ingredients can you mention about the pizza? Cheese, pepperoni. Okay. Tomato juice. Yeah. Okay, nice. Tomato juice, cheese. Holy cheese. Hot cheese too. Yes. Yes, there are delicious pizza. Apple. Pineapple. Okay. Pineapple too. Okay. The new pizza. So pineapple also it's um beans. Beans. Yes. Here, uh, how do you say ongos in English? It's it also people definitely that they love this this kind of food. So for example, if you say uh, in English Ongost, so I, I love this kind of pizza too. Also, in, in English, you can say mushrooms. That's the meaning in, in English. Mushroom. I, I'm going to write it here in the chat. Um, look at this one. Um, mushrooms. Por aquí se los escribo. Yeah. Ya me está dando hambre, la verdad, con este tema aquí. <laughs> So it's, it's complicated. That is mushrooms. Okay, so look at this one. If we had to prepare sandwich, what ingredients are included in a typical uh, sandwich? Integral bread. Mm -hmm. It's cabbage. Lettuce. What else? Lettuce. Chicken. 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 Lettuce. Okay, lettuce. Jam. Yes. Tomatoes. Chicken. Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Bread. Mm -hmm. And the breath. And the bread too is it has to be included too. Bread bimbo. Okay. And also, yes, and also the French fries. Okay, now I want you to select and say what is your favorite and uh, fast food. Tell me. Um, what is your favorite fast food? For me, it's hamburger. It's very delicious. Oh, nice. <laughs> Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, students, what is your favorite um, fast food? Oh, what is your My favorite? My favorite pizza. It's pizza. My favorite hamburger. My favorite first food. Okay. Nice. My favorite fish. My, my low coffee. Ah, coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I love coffee too. Cafecito con. I pizza. like it so Yes, and also like around four four p.m. between four and five people um people um take a cup of coffee and pan dulce, pancito, sweet Ooh. bread, sweet bread. Rico. Yeah, it's delicious. 
eh, y ya después pues subimos eh, we get extra pounds unas libras extra de comer mucho so it's important to have a balance about food eh, but cafecito con pan is a traditional Salvadorian eh, break so people love that yes That's why, and also in many Salvadorian houses, the coffee, it's vital. Es vital. El, el, el café en las casas salvadoreñas es, es común. Yes or not. And I love, I love when you're visiting someone um, in a neighbor or the person, they always, you know, invite you to a cup of coffee. And also mm -hmm. people say that in Spanish, y no quiere un cafecito. <laughs> people say that I love that because they're very friendly and also they love you know give some cup of coffee we can eat coffee anytime anytime breakfast in lunch too yeah uh, lunch uh, coffee in lunch <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised <laughs> I mean, perhaps in the morning or in the afternoon or at night but I don't know if you can drink coffee in lunch because i don't know depends. Can teach depends right i can't teach you you can okay you can someone else can drink coffee in lunch yes for me it's possible yes teacher. it's too yes. hot for our lunch yes at least in el salvador is very hot and for lunch but depending <laughs> depending right But coffee is delicious. Coffee, combination coffee with milk. Yeah, it's good. For breakfast, think about it. Okay, so after talking about this food, I want you to go to the next part of this class. And what do you see in the picture? What do you see? And what are they? Students. Students. Okay. And where are they? Librarian. They are in the? Librarian. In the library. Library. Li library. library. They are in library. the library. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Students in the library. They are in the library. They are constant. Well, they shouldn't be talking because in the library, they are not allowed to talk. But in that case, they are planning, uh, perhaps going out because that's a topic, going out for dinner. And actually they are like planning about what to do or where, where, where to eat or something like that. So what I want you to do is to have a short time to practice the conversation. So let's read what it says and also follow the reading. At the same time, I will record these conversations so you can also practice. So we'll use the chat to and practice the conversation. So I will record it. One second. One second. Check this. Okay. So what I want you to do, guys, is that listen to this conversation. So let's go. Yes? Yes. Yes. Ready. Okay. Let's try, let's try, let's try. It says, say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure, where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess it's, a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And um, I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Okay, look at that um, conversations. Look at that, look at that. Okay, so look at this one. Let's practice this conversation. I will read it again. And also we're gonna try to focus about the pronunciation. As I told you, 
when we are practicing English, it's necessary to try to give the, the accent, the, the focus about the pronunciation. So when you pronounce the word, um, it's necessary uh, to give the accent because it's a different language. For example, in a subtitle, we can also practice English. Instead of saying uh, people, people sometimes happen that people speak English, but with a Spanish accent. And I have a lot of friends that they speak like that. And, uh, but I mean, they could speak English, but they need to try to work in the pronunciation and also the accent because it's important. You are speaking English like a, an English speaker, not a syllable during a speaker. No sé si han escuchado muchas veces el inglés lo se pronuncia como que fuera en español, right? Pero tenemos que darle un, un acento diferente, a different accent, trabajar un poquito la pronunciación. Cuando una persona tiene un, un buen inglés y el acento en inglés es muy bueno, es, el inglés se escucha espectacular, muy bien. Pero es cuestión de practice. Practice also focus in the pronunciation. Conozco muchas personas que hablan inglés, pero parecería que están hablando en español. Y, y, y el acento, pues, lo dejan a un lado y si lo hablan bien en, en inglés, pero en español. So, si van a aprender un idioma, es tratar de darle el acento. Try to focus on the pronunciation. Tenemos el ejemplo. Um, es como decir, ah, say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Pero si lo intentas otra vez y le tratas de hacer un acento como que, say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Entonces cambia, entonces cambiamos un poquito el acento. At least in El Salvador, it's very common. In El Salvador, we have a, a our accent is not so remarkable, for example, in comparison to Argentina people. Ustedes escuchan los argentinos y tienen un acento muy fuerte. Cuando ellos hablan inglés, se identifica mucho el, el, el acento porque es muy fuerte. This is like the same thing, for example, with Puerto Rican people. Las personas de Puerto Rico, por ejemplo, tienen un acento muy fuerte, muy marcado, y cuando ellos hablan inglés se escucha mucho el, el acento. In the case of the subtler, it's a little different because our language is like neutral. Eso, en nuestro idioma es un poquito más neutral. No, no, no tiene mucho acento. Nuestro, nuestro idioma no tiene mucho acento en comparación a estos países. O incluso España, like Spain too. Usted escucha a alguien en español hablar inglés y va a identificar... Eh, que es español porque habla inglés y el acento, ya que el acento pues no se pierde, pero por lo menos at least we can try. Tenemos que intentar darle un acento diferente. That's the way in the pronunciation. And also it's very recommendable to, uh, to be exposed to, to listening to native English speakers because when you listen, for example, in movies, series, um, you also listen to native speakers and you also try to imitate the way how they are speaking. Or at least you try to focus about the accent. It's very important to do that. Entonces, usted ve esos programas, las series, y, y eso le sirve bastante a usted para poder trabajar el acento. Um, y eso se logra a través de la práctica. Practice, practice, and practice. Y claro, um, el idioma pues nuestro es muy, muy importante, pero podemos trabajar eso. We can work with that, okay? That is uh, something necessary about the language. Y lo que quiero que hagan a continuación es que vamos a trabajar en esta conversation. We'll practice this conversation. And I want you to uh, focus in the accent. Les mandé por ahí un audio. Me dicen si ya lo recibieron. Creo que por WhatsApp. Yes. Okay, good. So also you can listen if you have some doubts or questions about how to pronounce a word. No se vayan a asustar por mi voz, pero por lo menos el, ahí la pronunciación la van a escuchar. Así que, don't worry about it. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, what's the meaning of say? Why did... What's the meaning of say? Say is the verb. Say is a verb. De, de decir. That's... Expression. Yes. yes, it's an expression. Hey, say, would you mm. like to go out to dinner tonight? Eh, como para decir. Como que, dime. Como dile, exactamente. Yes. Ah. Como dime. Say. Pero en ese caso, pues, you know, it's just say. Yes. 
And also, uh, by the way, have you tasted uh, Indian food? Guys, have you tasted Indian food? Never. 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 No. It's not common here in El Salvador. Unless you travel uh, to other countries, also people, you know, can try the Indian food. I have seen some snacks from India and they look delicious, but I haven't tasted them, but we could try. And do you like Japanese food? Yes. I yes, I love it. You love it. Wow, nice. Let's go, Bijon. Do you like uh Chinese food? Yes. It's my favorite food. Oh, it's your favorite. Nice. It's your favorite. Uh, okay, so it's interesting. By the way, I ask you, what do you prefer most? It's good. Chinese it's, food. It's good. What do you prefer most? Eating a hamburger or going and eating uh you know Chinese food? Chinese food. 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 Okay, interesting. That's nice. That's nice. So in my case, I love hamburgers. <laughs> so, you know, we have a challenge with my friends. We would go out and we had to decide what kind of food we would like to eat. And most of the time, people love Chinese food. Okay, so what I want you to do, guys, in this time is to take a short time to practice this conversation. Yes? So we will, work, we will work at the breakup rooms and also you will practice with your partner. You can um, practice, you can be Jeff, you can be Bo, so you can switch. So let's work with the members. We're going to work with two and three members for each group. Okay. Um, one second. I don't know if you can... We can take a picture uh, to the conversation so we can also practice this conversation there. You will have a couple of minutes to socialize this uh, information. Vamos a ver, les voy a compartir el, the conversation so you can practice with your partner. Y vamos a enfocarnos en el acento. Vamos a trabajar el acento. Ya no va a decir usted, uh, say, would you like to go out? Okay, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it. So it's about practice. Intentémoslo. So let's go. Bueno, vamos a ir los breakup rooms para que usted pueda accesar y practique. <laughs> Okay, someone else is having some problems to access to the conversation. We have here Blanky, Jocelyn, and let's see, Jocelyn, Jessica, and Gisela. Um, Jocelyn, uh, Jocelyn, are you there?
I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it is a bit a, a, a spi spicy, right? Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it, the food. Eat a lot. I do too. I and I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Let's try. Let's go. Terrific. Ahora Let's cambiamos. Sí, okay. Ahora cambiamos. Hey, would you like to go out dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, like it. I like it a lot. I do too, and I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I always want to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Hey, Claudia. Yes. ¿Con quién quiere comenzar? Hello. Está bien. Está bien el audio. ¿Con quién quiere? ¿Quién quiere ser primero? Vamos a ver. Tengo lindo, tengo mentiras, cualquiera. <ríe> ¿Con ah, quién pues, practico? Si quiere, si quiere comience con Jeff y Dennis y después cambiamos. Yo okay. soy Jeff y usted va a ser Bob. Va, ok. Ok, entonces voy yo con Bob. Empiece usted con Jeff. Ah, si ¿sí son tres personas o qué? No, dos. Dos o tres. Entonces yo soy Jeff. Sí. Say good. Say, would you like to go now uh, about to dinner, Tonya? Es que casi no lo, voy, no lo veo, <ríe> pero voy a ver otra cosa, permítame. Oh, vale. uh -huh. déjeme, ver, déjeme ver si le comparto mejor la otra. Aquí, aquí lo tengo, oh, sí. permítame. Es que, I'm sorry, estoy chocolatina. ¿Ahí? Vamos a ver. Pero voy a ver ahorita, vamos a ver. No es que se vea oscuro. Permítame. Hoy sí. Vale. Vale. Empieza otra vez. Por favor. El que la perdí. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Say, would you like to go about the, to the diner Tony? Sure, where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of India food? I love it, but I'm not really in the in the mood for it today. Yeah, I not either. I guess it is a bit is peace. Peace. Um, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too, and I know a Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Yes. Oh, I believe I was uh, ready to go yours. Terrific. Let's go. Me falta el... Eso me falta. Vaya. ¿Con quién más? Usted, usted va a ser Bob ahora. Ahora voy yo, Bob. Va. Va. Voy a ser yo, Jeff. Okay. Say, would you like to go to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but uh, but I not ready in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. 
I get his a bit of spicy. Hmm. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, uh, I like it a lot. A lot. I do too, and I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here is called the is called I don't know. Oh, uh, Oscar, es eh, fantástico. No es terrífico. Es fantástico. Okay, está bien. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it. But I am not really in the mood mode for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do, too. And um, I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's Kajet Irowa. Oh, I, f I have always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Chivo, si quieres, si gusta, Oscar, hoy cambiamos de, 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 de rol. Ah, no va ella ahorita. Ah, vale, vale, vale. Ok. Este, seis. Would you like to go to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of the Indian food? I love it. But I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I know either, I guess, a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Airoha. Oh, I even always wanted to do there. Terrific. Let's go. Bastante, mm. bastante. <laughs> Okay, see you soon. Vaya. Entonces, bueno. damos otra vez. Y el compañero se nos perdió. Hagámosle un llamado, a ver qué tal. Manifiesta, te lo <ríe> Cristian. Hola, ¿me escuchan? Hola, ¿Qué pasó? ¿Sí? ¿Por qué se fue? No sé, creo se que el micrófono, el micrófono de los auriculares me falla. No problem. Ah, sí, sí. O okay. sea que no ha estado bien, no ha estado bien. <risa> sí, sí. <risa> ah, Lo perdimos. Bueno. Ok, vamos, ahora soy Jeff, pues, ¿con quién voy? Ah, con David, faltaba ese que iba a ser con David. Démosle, okay. para ver cómo lo sale, le vamos, Cristian. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think about, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I am not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I know that either. I guess it is a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know an a Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific, let's go. Yo quisiera que cuando, por ejemplo, yo si yo me equivoco en una palabra, que ustedes me corrigieran y me dijeran así se dice. Ok. En la palabra sí. que no te quedes, que está más o menos equivocando, es spicy, es picante. Es picante. 
spicy. Se dice spicy. 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 Sí. Spicy. spicy. No, pero, no. pero, pero sí, pero si sí, yo por mí, o sea, es que todo, bueno, en mi caso siento que todos los equivocamos en palabritas, pero. Sí, correcto. Pero, pero o pues sea, sí, la idea, la idea es irnos corrigiendo. Exacto, no, la idea es que, que, que en la práctica, va, cuando vamos a sentir, vamos a decir, oh, ¿me entiendes? Pues el problema es como que, dice el dicho. Pero el problema es que repitamos en el error. Reincidir, correcto. Ajá, reincidir. Bueno, bueno, o sea, bueno. No, damos no pero ya no, ya no vamos a caer en el error. Para mí, sí. buen trabajo. Excelente, compañeros. Un gusto. Gracias, Cristian. Gracias, oíste. Gracias. No, nos Excelente. vemos. Okay, students, we go back. And um, well, there are some valuable details that I would like to um, highlight about the conversation that we have had today in the class. And also, first of all, congratulations, because I could see that most of you pronounced the you know vocabulary and also the conversation in the best way. So your accent was very, very awesome. I like it. Some of you trying to say something to communicate actively. And this is what we are looking for, I told you, that the way that we can practice and also we can maximize your English skills. And uh, when we try to focus about the way how we say things are gonna, it's gonna look better for us. And also we can feel comfortable about that. So guys, we're gonna take a short time to check the attendance list. So I need a short time to um, to call your names and you say present. So, just one second. Let's see, 24. Okay, um, Ada Agar Burgos. Ada? Present. Blanca, Present. Okay, Blanca Elena Melara. Blanca. Eh, Cristian uh, Salatiel Molina. Present. Eh, Claudia eh, Lisset Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, David Roberto Aquino. David. Espérame que esto lo presente. Present. Eh, Dennis, ok. Denis Francisco Alvarado. Yes, present. Elena Gabriela Jovet. Present. Eh, Esmeralda Is Isabel Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Gisela Emperatriz Cañas. Gisela. Present. Okay. Uh, Hector Iván Pérez. Hector Hector. Uh, Jocelyn Stephanie Mejía. Jocelyn Stephanie Mejía. Eh, Kenia Vanessa Corbera. Present teacher. Thank you. Marco Antonio Quijano. Present. And Maria Elena Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Antonio Ramos. Present. Thanks. Eh, Rebecca Joelin Hernandez. Janelli. Eh, Vanessa Gabriel Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Vanessa, well, Vanessa Gabriel Hernandez, I'm sorry. Present teacher. Thank you. Present uh, teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Hernandez. Xiomara Elizabeth. Uh, Jessica Esmeralda Martinez. Present teacher. Um, Jocelyn Elizabeth Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thanks. Okay, thank you guys for this one. Vamos con el siguiente tema. It's very important to study the following topic. Okay. Um, teacher. Uh, yes. Soy Héctor. Lo siento que mi, tel mi teléfono está fallando, por eso no pude decir presente. Okay. And all right. Okay. It's, it's check right now. Ok, bien, vamos con, la, vamos con ya nuestro contenido. We have a topic that we will develop for this class today and I need your help with that. 
and also it's about the so you can see here so to meter and eater this is the topic that we will um, study for today's class and also I would like to ask you do you remember this topic se recuerdan de este tema do you remember this topic yes no hello yes teacher disculpe yes, teacher yes tell me Hello? Se me escuchó cuando dije presente. And let me check. Uh, Gisela. Yes, yes, we could listen. Yeah. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, so do you remember this topic or not? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, well, let's talk about um, likes and dislikes. When we're talking about um, so to neither and either, we're talking about things that we agree. For example, look at the first sentence. I like Japanese food a lot. So you say that you like Japanese food. And I ask you, do you like Japanese food? So do I. Oh. Yeah, in this case, but the, the, the question is, do you like Japanese food? Yes, I like. Yes, okay, I like that, that's that's interesting. Okay, imagine that I love Japanese food. Si a mí me gusta la comida japonesa, yo digo, I like Japanese food. Yo amo la pregunta, do you like Japanese food? Does she like Japanese food? Do you like pizza? Do you like spaghetti? So we ask questions about food. But we're using eh, el verbo do, en este caso, do como un auxiliar de pregunta. Do you like? Does you like? Entonces, para esta respuesta, nosotros preguntamos, uh, I like Japanese food. Yo digo, me gusta la comida japonesa bastante. Me gusta bastante. Entonces, pero a usted le gusta también. Y usted dice, hey, a mí también me gusta. Entonces, usted va a responder, so do I. So do, porque es el auxiliar porque el verbo es like, eh, so do I. O también usted puede decir, I do too, que los dos vienen siendo como decir, eh, a mí también me gusta, a mí también, so, so do I. Yo les, yo les voy a decir algo y si a ustedes les gusta, ustedes me responden con so do I. Yo les digo, I, I like pupusas. So, so, do, I. so do, I. Do, I. do I. Ok, good. Um, I like... I like uh, tamalitos. Okay, good. I I like a toltuco. I don't like. Okay, so she doesn't like. So in that case that you don't like or you don't agree about what the other person likes, you could say, really? It is a question, like a question mark. Really? It's like... ¿En serio te gusta? ¿De verdad te gusta? You know? Y dice, I don't like it very much. Es decir, no me gusta mucho. O simplemente usted dice, I don't like it. Es decir, no me gusta para nada. I don't like it. Or I don't like it very much. Entonces, usted puede responder, so do I. Por ejemplo, yo les digo, I cook pizza. And also, uh, pero, pero Rebeca también cocina, cocina pizza también. Entonces yo digo, I cook pizza. Y yo digo también, eh, so does she. O so does Rebeca. Es decir, que Rebeca también cocina. O yo digo, I like Japanese food. Pero a Oscar también le gusta. Entonces yo digo, so does he. Porque como es tercera persona, es das, ¿verdad? Entonces digo, so does he. Y si, por ejemplo, Héctor, a Héctor también le gusta la comida japonesa, ¿cómo voy, cómo voy a decir yo que a él también le gusta? So, he so does he. So does he. O, o he does too. Las dos formas. He does too. She does too. O we. O we do too. 
Oh, so, so do we? So do we? Que nos gusta. Teacher. Ajá. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Ya. Yeah. Y se podría decir en vez de, de, del sujeto, el nombre. You can, you can do it. So does Carlos. So does Maria. O, por ejemplo, so does she. Ok. Yes, you can do that. Y si no le gusta, I don't like it very much. Ok, so you say, no, I love sandwiches. Hey, so do I. Ahora bien, y si estoy diciendo yo en la siguiente oración, I'm crazy about this, right? I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Es decir, hey, estoy loco por, por, por los postres. Por ejemplo, a mí me enloquecen los postres. Pero yo digo, estoy, I am. ¿Cuál es el verbo principal en esa oración? I'm crazy about desert. I am. Ok, entonces, crazy. entonces es el verbo am. I am. Mm. Entonces, okay. como estoy diciendo que, que yo estoy encantado, entonces yo voy a utilizar ese verbo y voy a decir, so am I. So am I. Como en el anterior, el verbo era un verbo general, ocupo el do. Pero acá, como estoy usando el I am, entonces yo voy a responder también con el I am. Hey, so I'm crazy about pizza. Hey, so am I. Oh, I am too. Yo les voy Teacher, a decir... Yes. Entiendo que cuando usamos el do es porque sigamos, digamos que fuera una oración de presente simple. De hecho, eh, todas est estas están en presente simple. Es decir, uh -huh. pero el verbo es un verbo general donde se puede usar el do. Uh, do, okay. play, jump, sleep, run, go, todos esos, pues le corresponde el do, que es el auxiliar que conocemos nosotros. Okay. Entonces, a diferencia del verbo to be, que el verbo to be no lleva do, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso es un verbo propio. Por eso digo, so am I. Okay. Yo les digo, por ejemplo, eh, les voy a decir algo con el verbo to be y ustedes me van a responder también que también están encantados por eso. You know? I'm crazy about, about pupusas. I'm crazy about pupusas. So am I. So am I. Am I. Mm -hmm. So am I. Yes. So am I. Right? Y si, no, y si no le gusta, usted va a decir, so oh, I'm not. So I'm, I'm, oh, I'm not. Es decir, no, I'm not. no, I'm not. O sea, yo no. O sea, yo no estoy loco por las pupusas. I'm not. I'm not. Obviously, that is not Salvadorian. <laughs> if you don't like pupusa, pues no Salvadorian. You're not Salvadorian. Okay, so, ¿han conocido a alguien que no le guste las pupusas? No, never. right? Never. Never, never. Okay. Yeah, no, no, yes, yes. No, sería preocupante. A Leonardo DiCaprio no le gusta. A él le encanta. Sería, sería preocupante que no le guste. So, le soy honesto. <laughs> All right, so, let's talk about it. Y ahora vamos con el siguiente. Eh, ahora el can. Dice, I can eat really spicy food. Yo puedo comer comida picante. Y no pasa nada. Y yo, pero, ¿cuál es el verbo principal en esa oración? Can. Ah, es can. Entonces yo voy a responder con can. can. Entonces yo digo, so can I. So, so can I. So can I. Uh, so can I. Vamos a ver, yo digo, eh, I can cook pasta. Y si usted puede, me va a decir. So can I. So, so, can, I. so can I, right? So can I. O oh, I can too. Acuérdense que son las dos formas. So can I or I can too. So am I o I am too. So do I o I do too. Ambas son lo mismo. You can use both of them. Entonces, pero si usted no puede, usted va a decir, really? ¿En serio? I can't. Yo no puedo. So that is actually the, the difference, right? Because this is so can I. I can I can speak English. So can I. Ah, okay. Entonces yo voy I a saber. Ajá, yo voy a saber también que usted puede. So so can really? I, I can't. <laughs> okay, I really I can't. So that's a good example. Um ¿Está un poco claro sobre el uso del so? Yes. Yes. 
Vamos con la, con la siguiente parte. Vamos con la siguiente. Este, el que sigue, este lo vamos a ocupar para lo negativo. Es decir, si yo estaba de acuerdo, este estoy de acuerdo, pero en forma negativa. Vamos con el primero. Dice, I don't like great, crazy food. Es decir, no me gusta la comida grasosa. Y si usted quiere decir que tampoco le gusta, usted va a decir, neither do I. Neither do I. Neither do I. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. Usted puede decir, neither do I. O puede decir, I don't either. Look at that. So that is actually uh, the, the difference. Eh, si ustedes se fijan, usted puede decir neither y, y ve que al inicio está con, con N, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso nos da un, un significado de que esa palabra va a influir en forma negativa. En la segunda está el don't. Como ya va el don't o el not, usted solamente le va a agregar either. Entonces, cualquiera de las dos es la que usted va a utilizar en esa estructura. Vamos a ver, yo les voy a decir algo y si usted... Y usted me va a decir que tampoco. Vamos a ver. I don't like spicy food. I don't either. Ajá. O. Neither. Ok. Alguien me dijo, teacher, I don't like, I don't like to exercise. <laughs> Neither, like, do I. I don't need it. Neither, Ajá, do I. neither do I. Ahí sí, no mucho. No los vi muy convencidos. Ok. Ok, go to the gym. All right. So, uh, neither do I. You know, neither do I. O sea, ni yo tampoco. Teacher. Yes. Entonces sería el, aux el auxiliar verbo auxiliar solo do, thing, don't. Eh, eh, en este caso, cuando va el neither, no necesito el don't. Pero como no va el neither, va el don't. Ah, ok. A ver, pero si yo quiero decir, por ejemplo, eh, I don't like greasy food, es decir, no me gusta la comida grasosa, ¿cómo digo yo que a Christian tampoco le gusta la comida grasosa? He doesn't eat her. Ajá, o ¿cuál es la otra? Neither, neither does Exacto, neither does he, exacto, porque es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Neither does he, o sea, ni a él tampoco. Pero si a Rebeca tampoco le gusta the greasy food, ¿cómo sería que eh, tampoco a ella? Neither does she. Eso, neither does she, pero tampoco le gusta a Elena, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cómo digo yo? Neither does Elena. Excelente. Y si yo quiero decir que tampoco nos gusta a nosotros, ¿cómo digo? Neither do we. Neither do we. Exacto. Neither do we. Ahora bien, vamos con el siguiente punto. Eh, vamos con el donde dice, I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Es decir, no me agrada la comida hindú, ¿verdad? En este caso, yo digo, I'm not. In the mood for Indian food. Entonces usted va a decir neither como el anterior, solo que aquí ya va el verbo to be. Entonces yo voy a decir neither am I. O I am not either. Entonces ahí va el cambio. En vez de do, va el am, porque usamos la oración am. I'm not in the mood for Indian, Indian food. O sea que no, no me gusta o no estoy interesado en la comida hindú, entonces yo tampoco estoy interesado. Entonces, neither am I. O oh, am not either. Y usted dice, really? I am. O sea, a mí sí me gusta. Y la última. Let's go with the last one. And uh, I can't stand fast food. Este I can't stand significa no soporto la comida rápida. I can't stand fast food. Entonces, como estamos usando can Usted va a decir, neither can I. ¿Sí? Yes. Yes. Entonces, neither can I. O sea, ni, ni, ni a mí tampoco, ni yo tampoco la soporto. I, neither can I. Yo les digo, I can't cook pizza. Neither can I. Ah, uh, neither can I. Or I can't eat her. Yes. Uh, yo les digo otra cosa. I can't cook eh, sushi 
I can neither. Ah, uh, ok. Or neither can I. Entonces, vamos viendo cómo, cómo se responde. Depende de la acción. Pero el día de mañana vamos a trabajar un poquito más ya esta estructura con oraciones y usted va a ir eligiendo cuál. Si es so do I, uh, so am I, so can I, neither do I, neither can I, neither can I. Ok, it's going to be done for tomorrow. Ok, so it's, it's, that's why it's very important. We continue tomorrow, guys. And thank you so much for being here in the class. I really appreciate your time. And no sé si tienen una pregunta antes. Y si no, pues, nos veremos el día de mañana. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Yes. En la primera parte de este ejercicio, cuando usamos el auxiliar am y decimos mm -hmm. I am too, ¿también podríamos usar este, me too o es diferente? Eh, me too se puede ocupar, pero es, esta estructura es una estructura muy nativa. Entonces, es recomendable utilizarlo. Eh, utilizar más que me too. Ah, yo también. Entonces, es un poquito más nativa utilizar eh, so can I, so do I. Eh, lo ocupan muchísimo. Entonces, eh, me too podría ser de hasta de alguna manera no tan común en comparación de estas respuestas. Yes. You're welcome. Okay, so if there are no questions, uh, see you tomorrow and have a beautiful night to all of you guys. Hey, good night, good teacher. Tomorrow. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Gracias. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye.